All right. So, oh, I should have brought Molotovs. I have one. That might be all I need. I think we're gonna run to Banshees here. And I don't think I can physically hurt a Banshee. It's just gonna transform into a whole bunch of shit. And I'm gonna have to deal with that. Now, how the hell do I get inside? Oh boy. Oh look! Banshees! Blam! Blam! Kablammo! Oh! Jesus. He got by. We haven't seen Banshees in the day. They're sleeping, but any noise can wake them up. Uh... Look. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill them. I have no fucking want to just walk by them and be like, I need to be sneaky! No, they die! Alright? Hey! No! Come on. Nope, I thought that was an entrance, but it's not. Ow, shit. Blammo! Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I could hit both of them. Woo. -oh. Here's the Banshee. Bring it on, buddy! Come on! I know how to fight you now! I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> Your babies will die to me today. <laughs> I don't. Um, I only had one Molotov, so unfortunately, that's only gonna work once. Okay. It's a shame I don't get anything out of killing Banshee babies, but fuck them. How many is that? Three, four, five. Woo. Bring it on. Everything dies. <laughs> Remember all the nights a banshee would come and screech through my windows. <laughs> And now, now I can get revenge. Now I can kill them before they even wake. Lovely. You know, I should use a torch. I don't think banshees have a lot of health, or banshee babies. Look, I'm cocky right now because banshee babies are the only things that actually attack me. All right, the torch sucks against these things. Good to know. <laughs> I thought it'd still be a one hit. Well, that is not the case. But yeah, if the actual banshee attacks me, I will, I will, you know, be terrified again. But we've moved past those fears. At this point, the place is just creepy, and I don't want to run into the banshee babies when there's like twenty of them in one area. Hi, Rack. Cool, I can make another thing. Uh... Okay. Yeah, alright. Look, man, I'm... No. Fuck off. I'm not having these assholes behind me. <laughs> One at a time, huh? One at a time. 
I am no longer usable. That's all right. I got my axe now. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I didn't just stay away from them. You know, burning, uh, small creatures. Probably not good to have those touch you. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened here at the radio tower to make it, like, fall over, but clearing this place the fuck out. Ooh, journal from radio tower two. Or, well, journal from radio tower number two. We haven't slept again. Another madman came here at night, the second one this month. He jumped over the fence and tried to ram the door with his head. I shot him in the ass with a tranquilizer. Today we're going to transport him outside. Since that accursed tree appeared in the, in the village, an increasing number of savages roam around our hideout. How do they know it's about us? They're psychos, they can barely talk. The villagers in our sector still have no idea what's going on. It's been ten years or so, but when they lose it, all they need to do is go into the woods, put some mud on their face, and they come sniffing. Stefan told me that in the neighboring sector, the wild ones appear mainly in the vicinity of the hideout located near the tunnel entrance. I don't think it's a coincidence. Yeah, that's my hideout. That's not good. It's never been good, I suppose. Oh, there's still more. Alright. Hey, look! Here's the banshee! No, just activate now! Whoopsie, I'm on fire! Woo! 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 What do I do about this? <laughs> I lit myself on fire. It didn't work! My fire did not work! Well, that is okay! I know how to fight better now. I just need to also dodge sometimes. You know, back in the day, we didn't know. We didn't know about the quick jab. I could have saved our lives back in the day. So is that it? Is all that tear just bansies or shit? Whoa. Oh, this checkers is gonna make it a bitch fine. I hear something hurting itself. Is it a savage? How many savages are gonna be here? Hey buddy! I think you should stop that. Thank you. Oh. Son of a bitch. We keep finding doors with locks. I think I remember the code to this door. What? 8684. What? How do you know this? 8 6 8 4 Got it. Whoa. Radio equipment. A civilian radio overgrown with roots. Well, I was hoping maybe it'd be like a safe haven. But no, it's pretty overgrown everywhere. A civilian radio overgrown with roots. Underground entrance. The entrance to the underground tunnels. Uh... Did I, uh... Should I have done that? Oh boy. This may be a one-way road. Only one shot. I found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I'll only have one shot of getting further down the passage. 
and I feel it will lead me to the right place. How does it work? I think I need a key. It looks like this door will only open if I close the previous one. Ah, oh, okay. The further path of the tunnel is blocked by enormous roots and rubble. I guess... That has to be the way out. But it says it's one way, and so I'm kind of worried about that. 22, 15 hours. Two people came via the tunnel from the hideout near Village 3C. They were attacked. 23, 10 hours. The hideout near Village 3C has been compromised. At least 12 locals have entered the hideout cellar. Mostly mud-covered savages. Three among them were wearing unusual clothing. Weird rags. We lost one man. The door to the tunnels has been shut. None of the locals managed to break through further. We're getting ready for evac. Oh, 30 hours. Evac successful. The door was locked with a code. We're going home. Huh. Well, if that's the way out... We take note of that, but there's still things we need to solve. I'm also worried that it's one of those games where, like, if you try to leave too early on, it's like a false ending. Like, we haven't dealt with the tree. Or anything yet. So I gotta watch out for that. Are there more banshees this way? What's out here? Ooh, axe blade for free! Fuck yeah! Yo, what's up? <laughs> hey, he didn't split into babies. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Was it crying over its dead baby? That's a shame! That's a true shame. The life here cannot be allowed to live. I need to figure out a way to take everything out. Hmm. I was through here, right? Yeah, we went through that window. Okay. Ah, I see. Oh, hey. There was a fucking baby just behind the door. The fuck? I hope these banshees don't respawn. That was a lot of effort. Okay. I want to get rid of this crate. I wonder if I can just destroy it. No. Shit. If I get rid of this crate, I'll get a shortcut all the way back to the other area. Which would be nice. Okay. So I think what I have to do is run over here. And look at a certain eyeball. Somewhere. Also, we haven't been over here. I don't think. Is there anything of value over here? 24? I think that says? Twenty-one, twenty-four, maybe? I, I'm not sure. I wonder if that's a code. Twenty-one, twenty-four, use it on every locker! Alright, I'm being paranoid. It's- it's almost- it's- it's time for me to go! Alright, with that light on, I think I can get out of here. Otherwise, every time we come here, we have to fuck. We have to go a long way back. Come on, man, it's right here. How the fuck? In real life, I could just climb over the crate. That's the frustrating bit. Like, get this the fuck out of here.
Right. Okay. It won't let me break the crate. Not like the last time. Ooh. No. You have all these corpses here. But only a couple of them have things. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Maybe if I... Oh. Why is it open now? I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> I don't have to go all the way around. We're fine now. I guess I observed the eyeball that was responsible for the crate. And I thought that the other times I saw it, I didn't know, I never saw it close its eyeball, so I didn't realize that it was... It was open the other times. Whoops, there goes my lantern. That's fine, we're getting out of here. Okay. Well, I killed a bunch of banshees today. That was cathartic. Got revenge for all the times they've lumbered around our house, ruining our night. It's not going to prevent them from doing it more in the future, but whatever. Okay. Let me repair my shovel. Repair. Shovel needs wood. Uh, well, I got that. Don't you worry. So I guess... It's weird, because we have the exit out of here, over to the south, I guess, through the radio tower, but there's other stuff that we can still do. We never, I don't know if we ever checked out this swamp up to the right. I don't think I've ever been to the cottage near the junkyard, although I'm not sure. I think the cottage near the junkyard was blocked off before? Hmm. I have temptations. Because I also want to just, like, go in and see what happens. But if it just ends the game, well, that'd be anticlimactic. I at least want to burn down that tree. I feel like that's probably a trouble spot. So we gotta find the kid, get the gas tank, go underneath the water, and then go behind the thing and burn it. Okay. What am I trying to do here? Put items away. Right, 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 right. I can keep the mushroom so I can get rid of it later. We got the axe blade so I can make a more sturdy blade, but I think I already have a more sturdy blade, so that's actually kind of moot. But I can sell it! I can sell it for later. I wonder if the 9 volt batteries are just used for, like, these flashlights. How powerful is this, anyways? So we have it like this, and then we do this. Meh. These things are only really super useful, I guess, in those dark areas. Blup. Otherwise, in normal, kind of sunlight hours, <laughs> unnecessary. As should be expected, I suppose. I guess I could use the military flashlight for the Great Lake. That'd be good. I could see way more. Okay. Torch in case of trouble. Don't need a lantern, although the lantern would be nice too. I hate when the game does that. When you just hear shit walking next to you because they're like, we want creepy ambience. Okay, I actually didn't mean to put away my, my torch, but what the hell ever, I'm trying to fill up my generator. Don't think it would have lasted the night. There. Home sweet home! You know, until our, our- until we get killed brutally. Okay. We're just chilling back here now. 
Now, if there is like an algorithm in this game that determines whether or not bad shit's gonna happen depending on how your day went or how the night went, well, I feel like this is gonna be a particularly bad night. I killed a lot of banshees. So I'd be very surprised if I didn't just get brutally, savagely destroyed by banshees tonight. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna take our pistol, because if it's a centipede, I want to be able to deal with it in a timely manner. If it's not a centipede, we pull out the axe. Centipede's our biggest threat right now. And then the chomper's right under that. We encountered a chomper with like a sh like a dark shield thing inside the Great Lake. That was bad. I, I lit it up, I saw the, sh the health bar go away, and it was still alive! Now that, that's not good. But yeah, in terms of threats, Centipede's the biggest threat. Because it just pops out and just tries to stunlock the shit out of you. Then there's the Chompers, because they also just come and then try and stunlock you, but they still have to go through your doors. And then after that, it's probably the, the spider or dogs. They're kind of equal. Both of them don't really have a lot of health, but they're very fast and, and stabby. Savages... Not so much of a threat. Uh, I think that's a chopper. Or it could be a dog. I, I can't tell sometimes. They have the distorted voice thing. Hey! It's a chopper. It's fucking bear trapped. Fuck you. It's got a 9 volt battery on it, the fuck? Oh, Jesus! It's on me! Ah! Ah, God! Fucking damn it! Oh, it fucking popped up straight on me, dude. What the fuck was I supposed to do about that? Bad timing. Bad fucking timing for that. Holy shit. It's also doing the poltergeist, the poltergeist crap. Ugh. Okay. I wonder if the moth skill makes a lot of noise. Like, do they hear that outside? Because it's loud in here. We're just gonna stare outside. What is it out there? Oh. It's over there now. Ah, there it goes. What's up, Chomper? No. You're gonna get the fuck out of my house! Come on! Bring it! Oh shit. Bluff. Give me the resources! I need to sell it all! No! Oh. I'm so sad the bodies disappear by the next day. Because sometimes you need to sell all their stuff. Hey, here, have all of this. 
Give me my my supplies. My standard stuff. <laughs> I'll take the usual. Metal pipe. Scrap metal. It was still alive, man. It was still alive. Man, that was a lot of chompers. Like I said, chompers, second biggest threat. A bunch of chompers, probably highest threat. I don't think you ever encounter more than one centipede at a time. But the chompers, we've seen three at once. Okay. Let's make some bear traps, because I have 31 scrap. I wouldn't have ran into my own bear trap there <laughs> if suddenly there wasn't a fucking flare on me. God. Or whatever the hell the hell that light is called that damages you when you look at it. What are you- <laughs> I was in the middle of barricading my door. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I need my triangle of safety. Okay. I guess we'll just repair this for now. Can't barricade it. That would be bad for us. It's so tempting to put a bear trap on the outside, but you'll probably get in more trouble when you do that. You know what? We'll keep this on standby. <laughs> I'll just have a bear trap here, and if something starts wailing away on a window, I'll know exactly where it's trying to, you know, try and attack. Oh, I have a shiny stone I can sell. Whoops. Hold on, let me make sure I have everything I'm trying to grab. Because, possibly... I want to upgrade my weapons today. Squeaky board. Okay. Upgrade. Axe. We already have the sturdy blade upgrade, so it would just be the light materials one. Attacks use less stamina. Eight scrap? Holy shit. Okay. We're gonna go for light materials on the axe. Attacks use less stamina. I can swing it around a little bit more without too much worry. And then we'll have to buy more stuff for that. I don't know why beforehand I thought I couldn't get all the upgrades on these. I'm confused at my past self, but I guess that's a common thing for people. Alright, well, I think today, we're gonna look around the mushroom forest to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do for the granny. Maybe I should just kill her. I probably shouldn't just kill her. I mean, I, I've already damned my eternal soul by killing a few innocent people, one by accident, one on purpose. Fuck the wolf man. He wanted us to do bad things anyways. But still, yeah, I, I, if I can be a little bit better to some others, that'd be good. Alright, hold on. Did I already sell my shiny stone? I did not. Good. We're gonna sell the axe head. And I think the fabric- I don't think anything else uses fabric. 
besides the upgrade, so we'll get rid of that. Give me my tape. And... What else could I use? That's really it for now. Weapon parts would be probably alright. But, I'll save that for later. I want to live the night, and that means not getting killed by the darkness! And the shadow monsters! Thank you! At this point I should just move my wardrobe into the room with the workshop. Because these things have not been defending me at all. Beforehand it felt like it! <laughs> But now everything just shoves their, their cell. They either just destroyed immediately or they run right past them, pushing them out of the way. I need like a screw gun and just like, just, or just like nail it down to the ground. Oh, I have odd meat that I could get rid of. That's good. Maybe I'll sell some of these flares. It's not like I make them, but I've got a lot. Really, I can't put more than... <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. Whoops. I mean, I want that in my inventory anyways. But yeah, it's not like I really use the flares too much. They're kind of a nuisance to use anyways. You gotta put them in your hotbar, then you gotta throw them. And so, that requires a lot of foresight. That usually doesn't end up happening when I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Lantern. Whoops, no, wait, 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 I don't need that equipped. <laughs> Not right now. Not yet. Okay. I'm going on a... on a hunt. I'm looking for a kid. We're not gonna kill the kid. I just wanna find them and make sure they're alright. Or confirm that they're dead or something so that we can talk to the elephant people. Here, take this. So if I take the shortcut... Would that be faster than just walking in the mushroom glade? I actually don't know. I'll try it. 